Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play SNES games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Play Store. And once your Play Store is opened up, we're going to be searching for and installing RetroArch. This is going to be the free emulator we're going to be using for today's video to play SNES games. So the first thing you want to do is get this installed. The second thing we're going to be installing is another free app called Z Archiver. This is going to be for extracting games a little bit later on. It's another free app I'd recommend having on your Android device regardless. So what you want to do is get both of these installed. From this point, we're going to be backing out of here and we're going to be loading up RetroArch. And if this is your first time opening the app, you are going to have to allow it access to your phone storage. As we're going to be needing to locate the games a little bit later on. From this point, what we're going to be doing is clicking the load core option at the top. Here we'll see a list of all downloaded cores that we currently have. What we're going to be looking for is the download a core option right here. Click this open and now we're going to be scrolling down until we see the Nintendo option and we're going to be looking for Nintendo dash SNES and here you'll see a bunch of different options for different emulator cores we can use. In this case, I'm going to be using the one at the very top here called Beetle B SNES. Of course, I would recommend testing out and trying the different emulator cores just in case one starts to give you trouble. You can experiment with the others to see what one works best for you. To install a core, you can simply click on it once. Some text will appear at the bottom to say downloading. And once the text disappears, your core should be fully installed. From this point, we're going to be clicking back on the top left. We're then going to be clicking the load core option one more time. And now we're going to be clicking to load the core that we just downloaded, which in this case is right here for me. Simply click on it and then your core will be downloaded. From this point, we're going to be backing out of here and we're going to be talking a little bit about games. And that's where Z Archiver is going to come into play. In this case, I have my SNES folder right here that I'll just locate to at RetroArch. Or you can locate to wherever you have your games downloaded. And in this case, I have my Super Mario World in a .zip file. In this case, your emulator is able to read .zip files, so you don't need to extract your games out of a .zip file to be able to play them. However, if your game comes in a .7-zip or a .rar format, you will need to extract your games. Extracting your games with Z Archiver is super easy. We simply click on it once. And then from here, we'll have two options. The first being extract here, which is going to extract the game in its current location. And the second being extract dot dot dot, where you'll then get to choose which location you want to extract your games to. In this case, your games are going to come in a .smc format, and that's where we're going to be needing to play on our emulator. So I will mention in today's video, I'm not going to be showing you where to download games. Although games are really, really easy to find, a quick Google search will help you out and you'll find them really easy. But from this point, once you have your games downloaded and extracted, what we're going to be doing is going back to Z Archiver. We already have our core loaded from the previous step, so that's not needed. From this point, what we're going to be doing is clicking load content. And then from here, you're going to want to locate to where you just downloaded your games. In my case, I have my SNES folder right here, and I have my SMC file here as well. Simply click on your game with your core loaded and then your game will start to play and your game should run without any problems. Because this is a pretty easy to run console, I would imagine most phones running this without too much problem. So you should be able to run it in most cases. However, you can always test with the different cores to see which one works best for you and gives you the best results. It's always worth experimenting like that. I will also give the advice to actually use an external controller if you can, either via cable or Bluetooth. It'll make your experience a lot better and it's really easy to set up an external controller. I'm not going to be showing you today's video. However, I have made a previous video showing you how to do that. I'll leave a card on screen. I'll link it in the description down below. It's really easy to do and it'll make the experience a lot better. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play SNES games on your Android device. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.